Yeah, and it looks like Shopify is going to be locking in the recon. One thing to watch out for in this game, though, is Team Liquid's macro game and if the laning phase even matters that much. So let's pull up their game against Cloud9 because I thought they did some lane swaps. Clear out the chickens as well. Uh, so this is a really good start for me. Oh, yeah. Well, might actually end up costing <laughs> Oh, Boogie. no. Boogie collapses on Umpty. They know he has no flash to get out. And first blood will go over to Insanity. So bring to the top side after they caught sight of Zazel. Uh, Umpty is getting really yeah. aggressive into the face, but Boogie is just right there to aid him. Umpty, I don't know if he's got backup here. Core JJ hooks him in with the dredge line. Isn't enough. Yawn's going to keep him safe as now. APA floats on in. Boogie forced to flash. The Ignite ticking down. That's the kill over the Core JJ. Insanity falls as well. Team Liquid in the big. Team overall. Umpty has also the highest first Drake percentage of Umpty on the grubs. Going back to one just second. I'm at a minute and. Oh, wow. <laughs> a minute and 27. Okay. Engage into the jungle. Core JJ lining them all up with a depth charge. Multiple knockups here. Boogie might just fall here to Umpty. He gets the Grom, but he loses his life. Second for Dragon is free for Team Liquid. Yeah, and Team Liquid's objective focus in this game has been quite good. We heard Jat uh, speaking about their lane assignments. Rumble. I have real, a lot of credit to APA as well because now. No. Oh, Q flash. <laughs> Caster curse from Kobe. <laughs> APA, I'm sorry, brother, but that's the trade of the deal and no way to escape. <laughs> Blame Kobe for that one. Uh, a lot of credit to him, but More impact. fighting, world ender, equalizer, impact, flashing away at the last critical second. Umpty dashes in and secures the kill. Clubs. Two Team Liquid. TL did get the first three, so Boogie only... Sweet God ensures that these grubs should go over to Shopify Rebellion. Team Liquid, three on the bottom side of this river. APA is following up as fast as he can, but it looks like these grubs should go securely over to Shopify. Yeah, that was Eight, a really his fourth most played of his entire career as Impact is about to get dove. Three people on top side here. Zazel starts off with a quickness into the grand entrance, and it's just the CC train and the damage unleashed from Fake God as Zazel Ooh. does go down. Impact was able to find the, the game has already spawned. Team Liquid are sh stronger in this bottom side of the jungle. They have greater positioning, and they should Crashing be able to. the Herald mid, right? So it was perfectly set up on this bot side, and it was all off of kind of Shopify overloading that top side, which isn't even a bad idea, right? It's just Impact also got the one for be one. trouble for Fake God. No turret to protect him. The rest of Shopify are trying to rally around and provide him a route of escape. Boogie thinking that maybe they can force this. But just to chew through this Watch tier where, two turret in mid. Look where Boogie is. He is waiting for them to overextend and wants to come in from a flank position because he knows that at this point in the through, game. gets a decent chunk out of Shopify Rebellion as well. Umpty dashes in. Fake God forced to peel back. The equalizer comes through. Fake God taking a lot of damage. Here comes Boogie over the top, trying to prevent Yon from doing damage. APA's backing him up. Boogie, one last ditch effort, but he still goes down. Meanwhile, Team Liquid cleaned up the rest of the fight on the back half. A triple four impact. And this Baron belongs to Team Liquid. APA dropped an absolute nuke there with the <laughs> Ace Ultimate. That's we do not want to go up against this TL team in a 5v5. And we just saw, and obviously, having a Rumble ult when you're taking on Baron Pit is always a great thing to have. APA dropping the Singularity, just making it slower for Shopify Rebellion to rotate over to this inhibitor tower. They've already made short work of it, taking more than half of its HP. Meanwhile, Impact is pushing in the mid lane. Shopify Rebellion down almost 8,000 gold, running out of options as Team Liquid siege into their base. All right. ASOL, people have had a frustrating time sieging against the ASOL, but it's also tr frustrating trying to defend against it. Especially with the extra Senna here uh, on the bottom side. Extra range there. Yawn able to get inside. The Barrened Up minions on the inhibitor. Umpty wants a scrap. They're yeah. they're engaging and they want to force the fight to end this game. They already find one, two, easily back to back. That's the double for Yawn. The, in the equalizer comes through. Featherstorm to dodge on the damage. The blade caller roots APA in his tracks, but he pops the stasis to keep himself alive. TL have done enough to be able to walk away with this inhibitor on their side, and they're going to look for more. And they're they going to get They more. should be able to close out, right? Yeah, Unless two, they, two yeah. inhibitors here. Barrened up minions coming down. This should be it. A singularity dropped once again. APA just keeping them at a bay. Team Liquid now pushing in with super minions coming through through two lanes very soon as they just have to hold the line. Fake God is respawning in the next three seconds. It may have been too long for Team Liquid to close this game out. It looks like they'll take the reset here, but a teleport is coming in. Last ditch effort from Shopify. If they can find someone to get back in this game, it has to be now. He finds APA, forced to flash, but the root from Yawn keeps Fake God at a distance. They blast go back in. Umpty says, go, baby. We win these every single time. Yawn finds the first one on a Fake God. Zazel will fall next. It's another double. Buki can't decide whether he wants to go in or back out. Interrupts, cease and desist over the 
wall, stops APA, but before he falls, he still goes down. Triple for Yawn, looking for one more. The shockwave will stop them for now, but Insanity cannot stop Team Liquid from closing out this game. As somebody who watched a lot of Umpty in L his LCK career, right? It's just great to see him go in, engage on something like the Xin Zhao. He loves champs like this to just kind of go in and lead his team. The Fearless Admiral once again from Korea comes in with Team Liquid and leads them to another victory. The classic Blast Cone, Xin <laughs> Zhao, 